Hello everyone, welcome to Foxtag again. This time we talk about a Safari on the iPad, more specifically, how do you turn off private browsing on Safari? Because if you, for example, just fire it up, you can see I can load up Safari like this and I can open up any website. The thing is that I can always just switch right here by tapping on this sidebar icon like here and I should always have the option to go to the private section, but in my case, I do not have it because I definitely just turn off the private browsing on the iPad. I don't even have the option anymore. And the way I achieved it is by going to the settings, of course, and utilizing the restrictions available there. So if you open up the settings like this and go to the screen time, you at first have to set it up properly uh, just to actually get to this main section. So you have to go through the setting up process. It's fine. You just go through it. But as you are in here, I just want you to go to the content and privacy restrictions. If you have it disabled like this, make sure to enable it. But once you turn it on, you can go to the content restrictions and there are some things in here. So you can see that uh, there is the music, podcasts, movies, TV shows. There's also the web and Siri content, but inside of the web content, you have options. So you either have it unrestricted or you just limit adult websites altogether, or you just choose allowed websites and those which are going to be never allowed. So you can add websites to these sections if you want, but if you have the limit adult websites enabled and open up Safari, you're just not going to be able to get to the private section at all. It's just not going to be there. However, if I just check it to be unrestricted and come back to Safari, you can see that the private section has reappeared, which is the whole feature behind it. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. So yes, you can either go to the settings and limit adult websites like this, or you can even, if you really wanted to, you can disable the entire Safari altogether. So in the same section, in the content and privacy restrictions, you can go to the allowed apps and just turn off Safari altogether. This time you're not going to be able to even find Safari, but I guess this is not the option that you want to go for. I guess that you just want to keep Safari enabled and you just want to uh, dis disable the uh, private browsing. So yeah, that's about it. That's how you can switch in between. But also, if you were just really wanting to know simply how you can switch between uh, the modes, that's very simple as well. Because as I showed you, you can browse the web the normal way. You can browse through the websites. And if you want to switch to the private mode, just go to the sidebar like this tap on private and now you are browsing in the private mode you can see that the url background is black compared to white so that's how you know at a glance that you are in the private mode but yeah if you want to switch back and forth of course just tap on the sidebar switch to that and that's how you can do it and if you want to go in depth you can of course follow the first portion of the video to disable it make the content restrictions active whatever you want to do so that's about it that's everything what I wanted to explain to you. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you liked it and found it useful. But definitely subscribe down below by clicking on the subscribe button so you don't miss the next uploads and next videos which are going to help you with your problems. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the future. Peace out until then.